guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl your favorite girl your baby welcome once again in today's video my guys have brought good news in today's video i'll be talking on the topic my own definition of marriage what is marriage do you know that majority of people want to get into marriage without actually knowing what marriage is today i'm going to give you my own definition of marriage and i define marriage as an institution where majority of people have attained to get a degree but unfortunately nobody is qualified to get this degree we all are still fighting to get to the top of this class called marriage marriage as we all know it's like a set of people sitting in an exam hall. Everyone has their different question papers with different questions in them. That is how marriage looks like. In some questions, question papers rather, you will see difficult questions while in some there are simple questions you will see some people facing their own question paper like the questions they are very very simple but you never know what they have in their question paper that's because that is not the same question paper you are holding that is how marriage is and let me advise you in this exam hall called marriage you don't go to the next person sitting next to you to ask for an explanation or to try to get expo from that person do you know why it's simple the reason is because remember everybody has a different question paper you might ask for the answer to question number one yes the person might give you the rightful answer in his or her question paper the correct answer from his or her question paper and you will find out that when you write it you fail why is it so because everybody has their own different questions in their question papers so i advise you don't even go there face your question don't try to copy others because you might end up copying the wrong answers into your own answer sheet which would definitely cause you to fail your exam remember we are all striving we are fighting we are struggling to get to the top of the class and someone may ask me and what if i am confused on the way what if i need an explanation on the way don't worry that's not a problem. I'm going to tell you who to ask. Instead of you asking your fellow students who are still striving to know the answers to their own question, I'll advise you ask the examination instructor 
I don't know if I'm making any sense in this my own definition of marriage. Ask, ask the examiner, the one who organized or who is in charge of these examinations. He or she is in best position to answer your question. Do you know why? This examiner is there trying to encourage everybody trying to make sure that you do your best he understands what you are going through and he's the only one who can give you the rightful answer that you need because he is the only one who can look into your question paper and explain things better to you He's not going to take the question paper from another and start explaining your own problem to you. And in this case, who is this instructor in our own life today? That is God Almighty. He is the one who instituted marriage from the beginning. So he wants every one of us to do it the right way to pass these exams that we are writing so he knows how to handle our situations it is only him you can go to ask him questions ask him for direction and he will happily will be glad to do it for you but when you ask your seatmates some of them would want to do it sincerely wholeheartedly but unknown to them that their own question is different from yours some of them even if they know their question is different from yours they just want you to go astray they just want you to fail so they could laugh at you they want you to fail so that they can come on top of the class you know it's a competition we are all striving to get to the top so in my own definition of marriage i define marriage just like i said before as an institution where all of us we are running a race we are striving we are writing an exam to get to the top of the class so that's why i said do not ask anybody for expo don't try to copy others today you see many homes are broken many families are divided killing here and there why is it why is it so i will explain the reason is because you ask the right question maybe from the wrong source you will come out, you see your fellow woman, for instance, you ask a question about this little challenge that you are having in your home with your husband or maybe with your husband's family or something. Remember, like I said, we have different question papers in our hands. That woman might tell you what she is applying in her home. And it's working perfectly for her but if you bring it to your home you apply the same thing she told you it might not work for you why is it so because you have a different question paper in your hand that is how marriage is you don't try to copy other people never ever try to copy another family you might see them smiling going out every day coming out coming in rather happily and you think they are better than you and you think all is well with them remember like i said earlier in this video some will answer their questions like it's very simple but you will never know what they are going through deep down inside of them that's because they have a different question paper and you have another one.
so just live your life don't try to copy others other people's lifestyle it will not help you so if you are out there are you a man a woman a young girl a young boy and you are planning to get into marriage just bear these little things in mind and then you will know how to go about it just three points i'm giving in this video one point you have to remember we have different question papers which represent the different problems we have as humans in our life every family is different there is no family that you will tell me that they don't have any problem at all they don't have any difficulty that's not true depends on how they handle theirs second point the second point is don't try to do expo which means don't try to copy the life of other people and the third point never try to ask advice from another family and bring it into your own family because maybe it's not going to work for you that's because they have a different arrangement they have different character the character that that woman is telling you i don't tolerate this from my husband <laughs> my sister if you bring it in your home maybe it will not work for you the reason is because you have a different man different question paper she has a different man a different question paper so that is my own little definition of this thing called marriage manage with your spouse live within your means don't try to live out of what you can afford don't pressurize your husband don't compare your spouse with the other person because you never know what the other people are going through don't just attack your husband because you heard a woman say my husband gives me this he loves me he showers me with this and that remember they have a different question paper and you have a different question paper that's one thing you must bear in mind if you are getting married or you intend to get married i'm sure this is going to help you like i said earlier go back to your examiner go and ask question which is jehovah god the bible seek advice from from god and he will help you because he really wants you to pass this his course so i think i would stop there for today Tell me what you think in your own opinion. What is your own definition of marriage? Is there anything that I've missed out in this video? Just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's still your favorite girl, JBB. Thank you, thank you so much. And before I go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you like this video, share the video subscribe and see you in my next video love you all bye